Go. Hello, I'm Sandy Emmanuel. Today I'll be discussing the concept of inflation. Now, what is inflation? Imagine if you go to the market, if you went to the market last week and you bought biscuit, a satchel of biscuit at five naira, and then you go to the market today and the price of biscuit is now 20 naira. What has happened? The price of that biscuit has increased. So there are two things. First, you will not be happy because you cannot buy biscuit at the usual rate. That is one. So when we talk of increase in price of a product or services over a given period of time, we are talking of inflation. So inflation is generally the increase in the prices of goods and services. So when we talk about inflation, we imply two things in inflation. Now the first one is that there's too much money in circulation. Everybody have money, your dad have money, your mom have money, your brothers have money. They all want to spend the money. So there's too much money in circulation. It will cause increase in price. That's for too much money in circulation. Then the other thing we have to note about inflation is that the, the supply of goods and services is low. So you have few goods and services in the market. When you go and you want to buy, for example, 80 sachet of biscuit, you'll be surprised you only find 10 sachet. Will you be able to buy even if you have the money? No. So that is, those are the things that are the characteristics of inflation. Now, what are the types of inflation? We're going to be looking at four types of inflation. Now, the first one is demand pool inflation. Demand pool inflation simply means that so many persons, so many children, so many parents, they want to buy products. But these products are not in the market. So because everybody wants to buy products, goods and services, it causes inflation. Then we have cost push inflation. Cost push inflation happens when the cost of producing goods and services. For example, the biscuit, the sweet, the chewing gums that children like. You understand? The moment the cost of producing those commodities have increased, producers of those commodities will also increase the price of their commodity. And that results to inflation. Then we have galloping inflation. You know, horses gallop when they are running, they gallop, they gallop, they gallop, they, they, they jump. So when the prices are jumping, price was, if yesterday the price was 5 naira, today price is 10 naira, tomorrow price is 20 naira, and the price is only jumping high, 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 till you cannot afford it. That is galloping inflation. Then we have persistent inflation. Persistent inflation means that the price is rising gradually, 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 so that it get a certain time, biscuit, a sachet of biscuit may be 100 naira per sachet, and then people will not be able to afford it. So what are the causes of inflation? One, one of the causes of inflation is too much money. When they pay your parents too much salary, and then they, your parents are giving you more money, it will cause inflation. Then, when there is war and fighting, if, for example, they are fighting in a particular locality or in your area, you know, everybody will be running up and down. People that are supposed to tend to their poultry will not tend. People that are supposed to farm will not farm. People will be running, running helter-skelter. And in, the case, in that case, they will not produce much biscuit. They will not produce much good. They will not produce much services. And then it will cause inflation. Then the third one is increase in population. When so many persons are in a particular locality, the demand for goods and services will reduce. So how do you control inflation? There are only two things, two most important things. There are other measures, but we have only two, which we are discussing today. Now, the first one is, we say, reduce the amount of money in circulation. If the amount of money in circulation is reduced, it means that people will not have the ability to buy so much goods and services, and so prices will fall. Then the second one, we talk of increase in the production of goods and services. So when the government and private organization increase their production of different goods and services, including biscuit, exercise book, virus, pen, you see that this product will be available in the market and then price will come down. So with these two measures, you can control inflation. So I know that from today, if they ask you what is inflation, you say it is increase in price of goods and services. Thank you very much.